Which country will start WW3? Why? I'm stupid for going into the comment section expecting real answers. Come join us in the comment section of who will start WWII we have. China, North Korea, India Pakistan, EU hustle of varying meme levels including Germany, American hustle of varying meme levels including USA, Russia UKR, AIM, Israel Iran, Twitter Facebook, corporations, aliens, I'm going all in on some damn fool thing in the Balkans too, bloodbath boogaloo. Austrian here, we will do it again probably, I would like to say sorry in advance. Most plausible reason at the moment is because Germans eat schnitzel with sauce on top. Then this conflict will spiral out again into WW3. It ain't going to be the Swiss. That's all I know. That's exactly what they want you to think. Recently I broke into the Swiss embassy in Turkmenistan the natural place. To store plans for world domination they have a 5 step plan. Step 1 become fully neutral. Retract from world politics. Step 2 make a lab to create super soldiers in secret facilities hidden in the mountains. Step 3 form an alliance with the lizard people that live under the earth. Step 4 wait around 400 years to lull every other country into a false sense of security. Step 5 launch a surprise attack along with the lizard people to take out every government in the world at once. Then send diplomats to communicate with army leaders to offer them extreme wealth. Then send in the conventional troops to secure the world. The Swiss are going to take over the world with their lizard people any day now beware. I'm from Switzerland I can confirm also birds are not real. Can you imagine? You're sitting on a bench next to a bunch of pigeons. Then suddenly they look towards the sky and say. Sufficient data has been collected. Mission complete. And then they and every bird flies toward the sky. Edit changed pigeons to pigeons. Sweden vs Canada. In a dispute over curling. One day Canada will rule the world. Then you'll all be sorry. Probably my shitty neighbor Greg. I hope the first galactic empire will reach us before WW3. So this is how liberty ends. With thunderous upvoting. Netherlands against Spain. 1800 all over Axin. We declare war on Holland. That's the Netherlands. Holland is the Netherlands. Then who are the Dutch? Hey this is not on us. We just call ourselves Netherlanders XD. There's a group of people who are Dutch. Speak Dutch. And live in Dutch land. To the west of them. There's a group of people who are Netherlandish. Speaking Netherlandish. And live in the Netherlands. The English came along. And told both groups that they're wrong. I think the bigger question is what would World War 3 look like? Would it be proxy wars? Would it be full traditional warfare? Just decide over a League of Legends tournament. It's as toxic as a nuclear war, but at least no one is dying. But at least no one is dying. Except my noob feeder teammates. Hey, I did my best last night. The emus. What's up with them lately? They are dangerous I agree. I don't think the world can handle another world war. Simply for the sake that we are all so interconnected. Every major nation trades with each other and are in bed with each other. I would be a detriment to whatever country starts a war. Think about how the global supply chain has been impacted by the pandemic. The world would probably cease to function altogether in a major conflict. It'll be a civil war that devolves into a world war. With no one country clearly responsible for this change. So global social collapse. Probably brought on by dwindling food and water supplies along with increasingly intense natural disasters. Bronze Age Collapse has joined the chat. I for one have never trusted the Croatians. Some shit about to go down in Balkan countries. Shit's never not happening in the Balkans. So cute how you've all forgotten Finland. Our plan is working. World domination imminent. Edit well. This blew up. Plan foiled. Abort. Guess it's back to the sauna and drinking. My uncle said to his German co-worker that if there was 80 million of us Finnish he would be speaking Finnish. Tuvalu. They've been too dominant for too long. Fun fact their main export is domain names because they have the top level domain. TV so they sell domains to production companies. WWII will involve extraterrestrials and everyone knows that. But to answer your question. Utah. 
wouldn't be surprised if you tore ducked it up for the rest of us to be honest haha. <laughs> Germany, they'll get the hat trick. Pretty sure Germany won't start it, but we'll lose it. Jap, we weren't really run. Some three. Mal. Yay. We will lose. A third time. But third time's the charm. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson old man? Twitter. Someone will probably make a typo that everyone takes the wrong way. Happened a lot of times. Might go out of hand later. I mean. There's always a war on Twitter. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. No countries with nukes would ever dare to have a out war against another country with nukes. Literally suicide and there is no winners. It will all be cyber and proxy wars like it already is. Edit everyone seems so horny for some doomsday type of future I don't understand. Swear some of you would legitimately speak humanity's demise into existence if you could. It's possible to have limited direct warfare. Such as used to take place in medieval Europe. For example a conventional war between China and America over Taiwan. Once Taiwan is fully occupied by either the force the war ends. No national homeland is threatened, and so there is no desperate on. That could lead to nuclear escalation. It'll be Denmark. We'll invade Sweden to get back SK Northeast LN, and have a foothold in our attack on Norway. While we do this, America thinks this would be a slick time to swoop in, and take Greenland right under Rano's. Only to find Russia already setting up a huge base. This will start a domino effect that leads to the ultimatum of nuking Nauru three times before they give up their power. Denmark is already at war over Hans Island link with Canada and, historically speaking, fighting on two fronts hasn't always been a good idea, well sadly as far as I've heard, we've pretty much put that one on hold for the most. It seems like people doesn't like when the navy uses a ship a three day detour, using loads of time, money and fuel. Only to take and deliver some alcohol and perhaps change a flag. Now most times, when they are patrolling up there, they have either a bottle or a whole box ready, if they happen to sail close enough to the area, to make it a fair detour. It will start when the United States has to invade the United States to protect the United States from the United States. Is that WWII or Civil War 2? A civil war within a world war. That way our allies will be too busy defending themselves to help save us from ourselves. My guesses would be 1 USA versus China over Taiwan or 2 China versus India a lot on tension though that doesn't get a lot of news attention. Nepal's gonna get ass ducked being caught right in the middle, if it's the latter. Nepal will be the Poland of WW3. Better defensive terrain at least. Yeah I right, don't envy whatever forces get sent to tackle that one. Seems just go around it would be a better strategy. Austria. Again. Person send nukes. Kim Jong Un okay. Person nudes. Person oh no. Hello. A country need accomplices to start a world war. Saying Iran or North Korea is like saying one guy with no friends can start a gang fight. But they can. Say North Korea goes off half cocked against South Korea. South Korea calls on US its ally for help. North Korea calls on China its only ally for help. Boom. Dominoes fall and world war is in the works. China is not likely to support North Korea if North Korea started it. None. At this point. There are enough nukes in the world to ensure that a world war would simply result in nuclear annihilation on all sides. Say what you want about authoritarians like Xi Jinping, Kim Jong-un, and Ali Khamenei. They are many things, but they are not suicidal. They know that an all-out war would just end everyone, including them. So they are not going to- This is why the US and the USSR never went to all-out war. Despite coming close a few times the risks were just too great for both sides. What could easily happen, however, is another cold war. This time between the US and China. And like in the Cold War, there could be proxy wars fought as a result of it. But it's unlikely that any country will take the insane risks of starting World War 3. Exactly. The reason many rogue states have nuclear weapons isn't because they are arbitrary and crazy. It's because the US has them. And has proven in the past they are willing to invade rival countries that don't have them. Or that have given them up. Using them preemptively would remove that protection. 
and also probably lose them protection of the few allies they have. Even if the missiles were successfully defended against, it's very similar to the logic that Americans have with guns the only thing that will stop a nuclear power is another nuclear power. It's going to be India v Pakistan. There won't be a large scale war in the near future. The next opportunity for such a large scale war would be when we run out of resources, like fossil fuels, or when a country with enough resources loses a significant trade relationship. Probably America. I mean they made Wonder Woman 1, 2, so highly likely they'd make WW3, at least start it, not sure why someone else would finish it, no, they don't know how to count, they jumped from World War 1 to WW84, no, that's just the US customary system, you metric using nerd. Switzerland, they have been holding it in for god knows how long now. Egypt, strange. I know. Just google the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. It is a dam being built by Ethiopia at the Blue Nile River. Ultimately, this dam will impede the Nile River and leave Egypt without fresh water as it is their only source. This dam will largely reduce the amount of water in the Nile, and by the time the flow reaches Egypt, after passing countries such as Sudan there will be little water left. Egypt heavily rely on the Nile River for their agriculture and general drinking water. Now why would this begin a world war? Well, Egypt have already expressed their concerns greatly to Ethiopia, who refuses to even acknowledge the effect its dam will have on Egypt. Ultimately, Egypt will attack Ethiopia in my opinion, and then the question of how is Ethiopia funding the largest dam in the history of the universe's production becomes relevant. And the answer is, China. I may sound crazy, but hear me out. China has a long history of building infrastructure on behalf of other countries with ownership of the land being the only ultimate cost. I believe China has done this with the Grand Renaissance Dam. And my bet is, Jinping won't appreciate the Egyptians attacking his dam. So, a war between Egypt and China. Big whoop. Don't forget, Egypt has reserves estimated to greatly exceed the already recorded 4.4 b barrels of oil. That then involves the US who will gladly align with Egypt to save their access to clean, free-flowing water of course. Anyways, I find it all interesting. I'm not much of a conspiracy theorist, but when it stacks up, it stacks up. It doesn't keep me up at night, and I hope it doesn't keep you up. But it's all interesting just the same. Sio. India and Pakistan. It will spread to China. Then North Korea or North Korea first and pull in many others in Asia. This will pull in NATO either directly or via global partners Australia, link. China making a move on Taiwan or some other land grab in India or other bordering countries. None of them. All of the major powers economies are so interdependent on each other that nobody can afford a shooting war with any of the others. Not in our lifetimes. It's bad for business and that's all anyone cares about now. Don't be so sure about it. Taiwan produces 80% of semiconductors that go into everything from your PS5 to F22's China is eyeing this exact monopoly which is something which will be very good for their business if they invade and take over. It won't be too hard either seeing as Russia has already done something similar with Crimea. The US on the other hand doesn't want all this tech ending up in Chinese hands and neither do a few other countries even though they don't recognize Taiwan as a country officially. This definitely has the potential to start World War 3, as Russia has already done something similar with Crimea. That occupation has turned out to be an absolute shichow, and there's a lack of everything in Crimea. Ukraine obviously doesn't supply water to that region anymore, so there's a serious lack of drinking water. There isn't enough money either. Banks have moved out. Russian government can't afford to pay wages to employees and pensions to retired people. So everyone's angry. Everyone who could leave have already left. 